what happened? What's this icky paint like goop? It's moving! Now, now, boys, don't touch that stuff. I am most concerned with the well-being of the princess in this dreadful heat. Master Mario, if you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. <laughs> Mario, be careful. I have a bad feeling about this. All right, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Super Mario Sunshine with me, the Doctor. Of course, this is the HD remaster, and it's... It does all look very crisp, doesn't it? My goodness. Right, I'm gonna have to try and work out the controls because bafflingly, I'm playing this on a Switch, but I'm, I'm I am playing it on a um, on a GameCube controller attached to the Switch. Well, it's a wired fight pad for Smash Bros. or whatever, but it looks like a GameCube controller, and I find it so comfy. Oh, that's weird though. They've got Z and ZL the other way around from in from from Z and the triggers in in normal one. Oh no, I don't like that at all. So it's the bumpers that are ground pound. Oh, please tell me the bumper isn't stabilized camera behind me. Oh, I think it... Oh, I'm going to keep bringing up that map all the damn time by accident. Well, that's worth knowing. Camera feels pretty good. Um, oh, B is also jump? What? How do I dive? Why? Oh, please tell me there's an option to customize camera controls. Or well, not camera controls, movement controls. But I bet there won't be. Well, I got to get used to this. So for anyone who hasn't seen Super Mario Sunshine before... Prepare for a lot of cutscenes, but if you actually really care about the cutscenes, uh, watch my other Super Mario Sunshine Let's Play, quite frankly. For this one, I will talk through them. Power up complete. Thank you for purchasing. Oh, I love, I love this so much. I've obviously put subtitles on for exactly this reason, because I'm aware of how much I'm going to talk through it. Scanning and classifying subject data. Still got, oh yeah, the clip from Mario 64 on the bottom left. Oh, it's so good. Data storage complete. I am Flood, a flash liquidizer ultra dousing device. I hope to be of assistance. Oh, Flood looks ridiculous as everyone. I love it. Right, are you going to give me new buttons? ZR. Oh, no, it's the bumper as well. Oh, I'm not okay with that. You can then use the no. stick to aim Did you say use the stick? Well, that makes sense. Press the X button to... At least that's still X. That's something, you know. Actually, wait, no, wait, that was Y on the original, wasn't it? Oh, I'm just going to have to completely relearn my old muscle memory for this game, I suppose. Quack. And press the button. Clearly they couldn't apparently re-record re that with whoever the fuck voiced in Flood originally. Right. God, no, I don't want... At least it defaults to no. None of this Cape Bora, Gay Bora nonsense here. So. Try watching out the arm and press Z or... So. So, R is... So, R... Oh, but the camera's the wrong way around. Do you not give me options here? Oh, that's usually inverted. Mm, that's a bit uncomfortable. And so that's the... Oh, at least... You, at least... Ah, oh, right. I see what they're taking advantage of. The fact that you don't have analog on these triggers so normally it would be like you press r down a little bit to do that and a lot to do that well to do that but what's that mean we can do the 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 air spray more easily oh, shit how do i do that oh yeah air spray is much easier to do basically you do a thing where you um oh, that looks really clunky um where you do that but actually that's that's much easier now because you just have to press one button in midair cool Anyway, I'm, I'm talking shit, so let's refill and let's try and wash these off. Oh, that spin seems to be far easier to do than it previously was. Right, okay, so there we go. It's that R to hold to standard spray. Because normally that was like press R down until it clicks to do that. But obviously that you don't have that option now. You have non-analog triggers, which is a shame. I really like analog triggers as a concept, but they seem to have died out mostly. Anyway, let's go take on the, these, uh, whatever they're called, putrid piranha plants. Um, or something like that. Polluted piranha plant. That makes more sense. So, this one keeps its gob open the whole time, so all you've got to do is just spray into its gob three times. Uh, that's one. That's two. And... Uh, that's three. 
Well, wash off this piano while we're here. No, he he ho ho ho! And look at that, something emerges from the wreckage. Well, wreckage, but you know what I mean. And we get my favourite line in the game here, we talk to this guy, is it this guy? A sparkly, it came out of the yucky! I, have I remembered that wrong? I swear he says shiny shiny came out of the yucky. Have I imagined that entirely? Ah, shiny shiny from the icky goop! I think I've merged together what these two say in my head to form the greatest line in the game. A sparkly came out of the goop. They all actually say something that's pretty much a, a, a take on a very similar theme. Um, does someone say shiny shiny came out of the yucky? What about you? If I can stop jumping on you and actually talk to you, that'd be great. A shiny shiny came out of the slide. Oh my god. They're all slightly off from what I remember. That's insane. Either way, let's grab the thing. Oh god, I've missed this game so much. And I, I was going to say, actually, I don't think I have played this through since I last record. Since I last. Since I did record it, and that was. Well, that was one back when I did Mass Effect 1, so quite some time ago, certainly. Alright, an unusual device. Is it some sort of pump? God, I know this game way too well. It's quite disturbing. Ah, and time for the most bullshit trial of the century. This is funny because this is all the stuff that was going through my head when I first recorded this, but I couldn't say because I was like, no, I gotta show off the game the first time. It's weird to return to a game as a. This is my first ever, like, repeat Let's Play, but it's amusing to get a different effect of it. This is essentially like, it's not quite racial profiling, but it's like, someone has been fucking up their island, and they look like you, despite the fact you just arrived now. So, prison with you. It's. it's. It's definitely hardcore racial profiling. Going on. Though it is daytime in Delfino Plaza, our poor residents tremble beneath a veil of darkness. Expert shine scholars have determined that this darkness has arisen because all of our guardians, the shine sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the shine gate. The reason? It's quite obvious. This horrible graffiti is to blame. Okay, with you so far, none of this is bad. But here, yeah, okay. Looks like this guy, but Mario has a fucking rock solid alibi that he was in, I guess, Italy or wherever the hell he was. Oh, he's from New York, isn't he? Is Mario in our world? I've. And also, objection overruled. That's that's not how court works, is it? This has got some fucking dodgy pop up legal system here in Isle Delphi, you know? That doesn't seem fair at all. This appears to be quite a predicament, Mario. Data analysis verifies that the island's inhabitants are indeed troubled by pollution, but the pollution itself is not the main problem. Mario, you witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? It is a shine sprite. Shine sprites are the source of power on Isle Delfino. They used to gather in great numbers at the Shine Gate, but the graffiti incident has polluted the island and most of the Shine Sprites have fled. There is no longer any power to support the peaceful lifestyle of the islanders. It is most pitiable. The only way to ensure the return of the Shine Sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier. I always love the way he says dirtier there. I don't know why when he's like, becoming any dirtier. He really like emphasizes every letter in it and that just, that resonated with me for some bizarre reason. We must do our best to resolve this situation. Now he's gonna cape or a gay or me again here, doesn't he? Yes, I'm so glad it defaults to no. That's brilliant. You can't miss the best pal. We'll be watching you, pal. We'll know if you start slacking off. Except they won't, because this whole game is slacking off in some ways. And here we are, Delfino Plaza. Look at that, it's actually got proper 16 to 9 support. All very nice. Right, uh, not still giving me any options for controlling anything in any way. Ooh, I forgot we got the hover, hover, hover. Try that again, hover nozzle. So what happens with the, the, the two buttons any difference for this? No, they're not. Cool, worth knowing. Can I then do the old dive and slide? Right. Oh, this is going to be a real nightmare with buttons. Oh! No, right, got what's, what's dive? Is it Y? Good lord. Right, spray and Y. Oh, look at that. There we go. 
That still works, at least. God, this game, like... This game, it's, it's funny, because it still looks like it does in my head, but it just, it's so much crisper. It's like, this is how this game kind of still looks in my, in my head. Not like HD or anything like that, in a sense of the textures look all like how I did, but just seeing it... Oh, you saved me! Thanks, a bundle! It being all, like, not looking like, like... Like it was recorded off an analog console in 2003, um, because I'll, I'll I'll put side by side for an interesting bit of comparison the footage from, if I can be asked, this exact point um, in in um, in my first let's play, and we'll see how it looks for, to get an idea of actually how much better this version does look. That's quite cool, let's say. Um, right, this guy at least covers his mouth occasionally. So, oh, inverted camera, that's gonna get me. There's definitely a way to change it, because remember it was all I remember seeing shortly after this game released, it was a thing they added in. Um, so ooh, God, yeah, because the aiming is actually really weird without it. I mean I'm sure it's fine if you're used to this game, but um, if you're not used to this game even. I would probably be better to just do a spray on him. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nope. That button is spray. Nope. Ugh, neither of these buttons are spray. Why is it not working there? Oh I should press A at the same time. Right. God. Controls. Surprisingly difficult. There we go. But he's not done yet, is he? If I remember correctly. Oh, he is! Excellent. Oh, it's the black ones that take two cycles. Princess, look! Answer statue's head! He goes weirdly German here, Toto, for some reason. If I remember correctly. Princess, look! On the statue's head! On the statue's head, yeah! He sounds very German. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this is so... Uh, this is way more early 2000s than I remember it being, which is not a bad thing. It is just... It is significant, though. Now, no one does anything while he just runs up and bodily grabs the princess. Good one. Right, this is going to be an interesting experience because i got to do things quickly. There we go. Right. Whoop. And spray and dive. Spray and dive. There we go. Right, let's do some... Oh, why am I doing flips? I mean, I'm kind of okay with it. It's clearly working. Oh! Ah, oh. oh, right, okay. Let's try that again. Ooh, boop, boop, boop. Nope. I don't remember it being that easy to do triple jumps before, but... That oh, Jesus, I actually literally exhausted my water. God, that's embarrassing. Dive and leap. Dive and leap. There we go. That's the way to get around as well. This oh, that's not the center camera behind myself button at all. There must be a swap triggers button somewhere. Because uh, that's that's mildly irritating. Is that? Actually, no, it's majorly irritating, quite frankly. Ah, you fucking bastard. Get back here. Right, okay, let's do the dive and... Nope, that... Oh. I'm on the damn hover nozzle. This is bullshit. I swear, yeah, I'm, I'm triple jumping far more readily. That, like, I remember triple jumping being something that doesn't even come up very often in the game, but apparently I'm doing it all the damn time. There we go. Oh, good one. There we go. Ow, 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 not fair, completely unfair. You shouldn't be allowed to use tools like that. Oh, and he's fucking off. Um, ow. It's weird, like, customizable controls are something which are completely standard on, like, any PC game, but console games don't seem to have got there yet over the last, like, 15 years. It's, it's, it's baffling in a lot of ways. Right, on you go, son. Do your thing. Mario. Oh. Oh, I thought that lasted longer. I went for a massive drink. I you know, literally had my mouth inflated like a bloody chipmunk or something. Not chipmunk. Squirrel. Hamster. There we go. God. Some kind of small rodent, clearly. Ooh, that doesn't look great that you can see the texture of it through there. That has not upscaled as well, I think, as Nintendo perhaps hoped. Do 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 do. Bum ba bum 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 why to dive is still really weird. Oh, in some ways this almost looks too crisp. Has this game actually got anti-aliasing? Um, because I feel like it may slightly be in, in a little need of it. Oh, look at that though. I can still- I'm, I'm, I'm remembering how to move in this game. It's one of the things I really like about this game. The movement in, in this whole game is great fun. Like, just going around the place, I just- I just really deeply enjoy. Right, let's- Oh no, wrong button again. There we go. Oh, I always forget that they're like piranha plant heads, but just carving in in slime. Right. Oh god, you can throw stuff at me while I'm in here. That doesn't quite seem fair, does it? Really? How much do I have to spray this guy to get him to even just appear out of the thing? Come on. You just have a damn tank. Well, I'm guessing probably the blasting that way is perhaps not the best way to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Again, my, my previous Let's Play of this I consider on the instructional side. This second one will not be so. It's- it's- it's weird. Like, it is bizarre to- what the? That was odd. 
Um, it is weird doing a second Let's Play, because it's like... I mean, anyone who's watching this, I'm guessing most of you are familiar with my work by now, and it's like... It is it is weird that... Uh, oh, we can zoom in like that. Excellent. Um, it, it is it is weird to, to do this a second time, because you, you must be familiar, if you're a regular viewer, with my style, that I am quite instructional. I go through everything and kind of describe what I'm doing and why I'm doing and how the game works and stuff like that, whereas this is going to be a bit more personal, I guess? It's going to be more of my thoughts and feelings and and stuff like that, because because I've got a chance to... I don't have to talk about what I'm doing, because I've already done this game. It's, it's an unusual experience, but not necessarily a bad one. In case anyone was wondering, by the way, this little thing, not going to be 100 percenting it, going to be any percenting it, so just... Grab seven shine sprites in every world, and on with the boss. None of this 100 percenting which means I can avoid some of the bullshit. Right, I'm going to head out to the menu and see if there's some way of correcting various camera and control issues. Well, who wants to hear a hilarious story? Turns out the update that allows changing of the camera controls and stuff like that doesn't drop until the 16th. Today is the 13th, and I think... Hilarious, I think the 16th is actually the day that <laughs> that this is due to go live, because I think that's Tuesday. Actually, no, that's Monday. I think it's due to go live on Tuesday. Not entirely sure. But either way, yeah, it, it's it's that, that update will be probably out by the time you're watching this, but it isn't quite yet, so I guess I'm just going to have to get used to it. And I will, it'll just take... I mean, I've only been playing it for, according to my recording, 22 minutes. Um, oh, he isn't dive. Why is dive? There we go. That's going to take some adjustment, but should be doable. It'll be interesting. I mean, I guess it, it, it makes this a bit more of a challenge for me that I'm ju not just playing through the same game, because I've got to spend at least an hour or two overriding my idiot brain first. Oh, that was that was not what I expected. Right, so here we just have to make it to the top of the windmill, don't we? Yeah, fun fact, this game was actually indirectly um, the game that... Uh, oh, here we go. Bridge is out. Uh, it's indirectly the game that got me into Let's Playing, because uh, the first of kind of Let's Play concept stuff that I ever came across was um, Super Mario Sunshine Versus, uh, which was basically a race through this game between Attacking Toucans and, and Josh Jepsen, both of whom I believe are still are still going as, as I was going to say Nintendo YouTubers, but it's it's all Twitch nowadays, isn't it? God, old man Doctor Strikes again. Um, but it was actually it was it was it was watching that that made me think, hey, this is quite cool. And it, interestingly, that didn't prompt me to hey go and do my own Super Mario Sunshine thing, but that actually prompted me and the boy to be like, hey, we could do something like this, but for Pokemon. Uh, and it prompted Pokemon Ow versus, which was our first like thing. And then it was actually I deliberately wanted to wait. Um, for to do Sunshine because I love Sunshine so much and I knew it would take me a few series to like get for one of a better phrase just because I'm really fucking big headed but basically to get good at let's playing so I was like no nah, I want to wait until I'm a bit better quality wise in terms of both my own content and and um, and recording quality and stuff like that and I don't want it to make sure I, I love this game so much I wanted to do it justice That's a weird noise for a plan to make in so many ways. So, this is going to be interesting with my inability to aim. I mean, I have the ability to aim, I just I'm just incapable of exercising it correctly, I suppose. Now, there is a way, definitely, to trick him into doing the right attack, um, but I can't remember what it is. I've watched a couple of speedruns of this game, and they seem to be all very good at it, but... Right, wait for it. Do your thing. Actually, I'm gonna... There we go, and now I'm ready. You can fuck off as well, son. Nope, he's over there. Right. And... Oh! Oh, shit! <sighs> See, there, I pressed Y to go into, like, first-person mode. Um, oh, did I miss it there as well? Bloody hell. I pressed Y to go into first-person mode, and Y in this makes you dive! Um, so yeah, the first few episodes of this series are definitely going to seem very... I'm going to seem like I don't have a fucking clue what I'm doing. Um, I do! Theoretically! Uh, but the practice, not quite there yet. Right, that's going to be that button, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Right, now I'm getting it, he says. I'm suddenly hovering instead of switching nozzles. I had literally no idea he could summon these weird little other piranha plants. Like, I've... I've <laughs> it's actually... It'll, it'll be surprising, perhaps, to see how much of this game I've, is, is content I've never even come across, because I've not been this really i've not been this this poor at it before right god oh, does he, 
really, we're moving around here. Cool. I mean, that makes a bit more sense now. You, so you go into this mode by pressing in the C-stick. Um, it's weird. I, I do wonder how this... Oh, shit ass. Uh, I wonder how this feels if you're on a Switch controller, if it feels any more like the GameCube thing, but I think this is weird for me because I'm on what is... From a feel perspective, that's a weird phrase, uh, from a tactile perspective, there we go, it is a GameCube controller, um, but the buttons aren't the same as when this was on a GameCube, so it's not like, just like, oh, I'm playing Mario Sunshine in 2002. It's, it, it feels very different, which is bizarre. Oh, to fucking Christ. Oh, that's gonna happen quite a lot, ladies and gentlemen. No! Calm the fuck on. There we go. Ground pound. There we go. God, that was a bit of a grueling ordeal, wasn't it? It happens quite a lot in this game, but the more you think about it, them like dissolving into paint like that is actually <laughs> it's, that's that's fucked up. Um, well, it's not fucked up, but it's it's very dark. That it's like and just like liquefy. Like if you imagine that with like photorealistic graphics, that would be fucking horrifying. <laughs> 